Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Tarbosaurus Batar. It's the Tyrant Lizard King versus the Alarming Lizard. Tarbosaurus was very similar to the T-Rex, despite living far away in Asia about 70 million years ago, at the end of the late Cretaceous period. Similarities between Tarbosaurus and Tyrannosaurus might be related to their large size, independently developed through convergent evolution. The T-Rex, well, needs no introduction. It lived in North America during the Upper Cretaceous period, 68 to 66 million years ago. So these two dinosaurs never actually met, but this is YouTube, so fight. First some stats, Tyrannosaurus, height at head, six meters. Length, 12.4 meters. Weight, six to eight tons. Speed, 40 to 60 kilometers per hour is possible. Bite force, six tons in the upper range. Diet, large and armored dinosaurs, like Triceratops. Now onto the weapons of the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a bite force of around six tons and had over 60 20 centimeter teeth lining his 1.2 meter jaw. Using his bite force and teeth, Tyrannosaurus could easily tear off over 60 kilograms of flesh. The neck of the T-Rex formed a natural S-shaped curve like other theropods, but was short and muscular to support the massive noggin, I mean head. T-Rex also possessed powerful muscular legs. Some scientists claim speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour, while some claim it could barely walk. Anyway, Tarbosaurus, height at head, four meters. Length, 12 meters. Weight, five, maybe six tons. Speed, 40 to 60 kilometers per hour. Bite force, around five tons. Diet, large dinosaurs like Saurolophus and Nemectosaurus. Now onto the weapons of Tarbosaurus. Like most known Tyrannosaurids, Tarbosaurus was a large bipedal predator, weighing up to six tons. It had a muscular body and legs built for running and hunting. It was equipped with about 60 large teeth, more than the T-Rex. It had a unique locking mechanism in its lower jaw. It also had the smallest forelimbs relative to body size of all Tyrannosaurids, renowned for their puny arms. The unexpanded rear of the skull meant that Tarbosaurus' eyes did not face directly forwards, suggesting that it lacked the binocular vision of Tyrannosaurus. Now let's start with the advantages of Tyrannosaurus. While the T-Rex was slightly larger and heavier, it possessed a more flexible and powerful jaw. The T-Rex had forward-facing eyes, with some degree of binocular vision. The T-Rex may have had puny arms, but they were still larger than Tarbosaurus's. Now onto the disadvantages of the T-Rex. It's hard to think of any disadvantages when it comes to the T-Rex. Perhaps he was slower on his feet, according to some studies. The T-Rex possessed less teeth than Tarbosaurus, which may be a disadvantage. Now onto the advantages of Tarbosaurus. As mentioned earlier, between 58 to 64 teeth lined Tarbo's jaws, slightly more than the T-Rex. Tarbosaurus was used to hunting massive sauropods like Nemectosaurus, maybe more so than the T-Rex, who probably battled Triceratops. As a result, perhaps Tarbo was the better fighter and knew how to use his body weight to topple large dinos. There's evidence that Tarbosaurus was a good runner due to the stress fractures on bones. Tarbo's unique jaw locking mechanism could have been very deadly. This isn't really an advantage, but it's worth mentioning that Tarbosaurus hunted in groups. Now to the disadvantages of Tarbosaurus. Well, he was smaller and lighter, for starters. Tarbosaurus had a slightly less powerful bite, but it really depends on how you use it. Tarbosaurus had much smaller arms, if they were in use at all. Tarbosaurus had non-binocular eyesight, similar to Gigantosaurus, with eyes at the sides of its head. Okay, let's fight. The T-Rex and Tarbosaurus slowly circle each other, the carcass of a dead Triceratops sitting between them. Surprisingly, Tarbosaurus goes in for the kill first. He tries to bite T-Rex's neck, but misses. T-Rex quickly spins around and bites Tarbo's back, but he breaks free and he counterattacks. His jaws clamp down hard like a bulldog, not letting go as T-Rex thrashes around, but the jaws remain locked around his neck. T-Rex rolls to the ground and breaks free. T-Rex is able to get up more quickly than Tarbo, who has tiny arms, and delivers a devastating bite on Tarbo's throat, killing him instantly. Verdict. I reckon the T-Rex would win 60% of the time. I think Tarbosaurus is a very powerful dinosaur who's used to taking down larger sauropods than the T-Rex. I think this would be a very close battle. However, T-Rex has the better fundamentals, so again, wins overall. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Which dinosaur battle would you like to see next? Please let me know in the comments below and I might make it. Until next time, thank you for watching Mega Top 10s.